Separate from events, news, people, and specialized landing pages like the front of your site, a basic page is your most common page type. These pages house general information within your site, such as an about page. As a content editor, you have the ability to edit them, but only a content manager may create or delete them. So for my example, I'll be using the facilities page of my website, so let's navigate over to that right now. At the top of the page, I've got three tabs available, View, Edit, and Revisions. View takes you to the live version of your page, and we're actually already on it, and this button will be more useful on a page like Revisions. So skipping over Edit for a moment, the Revisions tab takes you to a history of all edits to a page. Here you can see a listing of the date, time, and user that made each edit to a page. To the right you have a revert button, and this lets you easily restore a page to a previous version. Now, to get back to the live site, I'm going to click on View. To actually make changes to a page, I'm going to use the Edit tab. And the first field I have here is the page title. And you'll notice this is the only required field, and this is because you can mix and match the following three sections. This is important because you may have pages you don't need a slideshow, or a page that's made up entirely of things in the advanced section down here, so all pages may not necessarily need the same things required for each. Our first section here is the slideshow. This allows you to add up to eight images in a rotating slideshow on the page. Although we don't recommend adding more than two to three images, and that's because most users do not stay on the page long enough to view many of these. So images for the slideshow are a 1600 by 900 ratio. I have an image here to upload which I know isn't, so let's open it in Photoshop. First, I'm going to make sure I have the crop tool selected. And then I'm going to set the ratio to 1600 by 900. And that actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit the check mark to finalize this crop because I'm happy with the position. And now the most important part, and please do not skip this step, is exporting at the correct size. So I'm going to go to File, Export, Export As. And I'm going to make sure the format is set to JPEG and the quality to 75%. This is important because this provides a crisp, sharp image, but without extraneous file sizes, and thus slower page loads. So I'm going to set my width down here to 1600, and my height should automatically change to 900. Now if I click out of here, this may change to 1599, your height may change to 901, it doesn't have to be exact. If the width here initially was smaller than 1600, you either overdid cropping or started with too small of an image, and you'll need it to be bigger or risk a blurry image due to upscaling. Now I'm going to head back over and upload my image, so first I'm going to hit export all, change the name to something that's more easily searchable, so I like to use the name of the page this is going on, so facilities, and then the subject of the photo, so this is VR experiment. Save it to my desktop, that's fine. And then if I go out here, I can see I have the second photo down here, that's the crop. Heading back over to Chrome, I can come up here to select images, upload images, and I can either drag or drop files directly onto this gray area, or select files via the Select Files button, choose my image, hit Open, and now all I need to do is add an alternative text or a short description of the image used by screen readers and displayed when the image is not loaded. This is very important. So for this one, it's a pretty simple image. So student participating in virtual reality experiments. And hit select images. and my image shows up. And I actually want to move this to the front, so I'm just going to drag this right over here. I can drag and drop any of these photos to whatever places I need them to be. Now that we've completed this topic, choose the next video on the right side of the screen, or view the entire playlist with the link on the left.